How we doing, guys? Welcome back. So, we're now set up for the final night. Well, we're doing the setup for the final night, it's more accurate to say. First things first, what do we spend our workers on? Probably getting all the equipment. I don't think we'll be able to afford an upgrade. I mean, we could if we pumped out all the gold, but then we wouldn't get any equipment to use that upgrade on. So, probably best just grabbing all the upgrade well all the items we can and we'll just go for it all in one go grab the uh, item from the corpses while we're at it leaves two workers left we'll see what we can do with them later i assume we're nowhere near on this right i hope she wants to talk to us some more can you make peace with your sister ah! I mean, we know that is also true. They're essentially the same thing, just different sides of the same coin. Which is kind of true for most of these games where they have a <laughs> mysterious evil pair, as it were. Yeah, nothing new over there. So nothing to worry about there. On this side, she doesn't talk as much, I notice. There's not as, not been as many in interactions with her. Do we have any thing we can start working on. So build 30 ballista. That's the one I kind of want to pick up because that looks kind of funny. Just the ability to hit more targets means in the later maps ballista become just infinitely better. Not sure I'd still replace most stuff with it, but yeah. Getting picky at that point, aren't we? Um, not sure we're going to be able to build up stacks for that. I'm more bothered about having just better damage. So, that's actually kind of cool. Being able to pick up more mana and then just spamming lightning. That is also an option. Yeah, I think we'll go with this one. Damage, we just need to hit harder. We have plenty of mana now. Like, we should never need that much mana. Crit power, we are crit based. We're going to become even more crit based as we lose mana. Movement points is actually going to be very important, so I'm actually going to grab that. We should do enough damage with a rifle to make up for, you know, anything else. Reliability is also going to be good. Perk-wise, um, are any of these relevant? Like, I'd mostly be looking for isolation. I'm not sure any of these are relevant. Maybe cheer? See, it's an interesting one, because it is a perk point, but it's also just extra damage. And I think you can... You can't target yourself, but you could buff someone else, which, you know, considering it doesn't cost an action point, it's better than all the others there. Leapfrog was the other option. Okay, health tank. You didn't quite get as far down as we wanted to, but... This does allow you to go a bit more nuts. Not that you're having mana problems right now, so it might not actually be worth it. That might be worth it, just for traveling. Yeah, so we, lo we lose some reliability, but the ability to dash around the map is going to be huge. Does make our other choices so far been irrelevant, but again, we're used to being able to get far more damage out of the map. I'm not actually sure that's going to be... I suppose you can go negative reliability. So... No, you're still negative. Okay, so that choice was irrelevant. Wasn't sure on that one. Technical route minus 10, but can only go to zero. So, kind of funny if it went below it, didn't it? Wouldn't it? Um, you. Don't have any multi-hit stuff to worry about. Shorter weapons is kind of good, but self-defeating at the same time. I guess with the crossbow you have enough range anyway. We can look for a skill range here, maybe. Which I think is a primary stat, so we'd have to roll it now. We can roll once. Movement points makes up for the skill range, so that's also a good opportunity. Uh, none of that's particularly relevant. But none of that's relevant either. 
I guess we can go hell for gen because. Okay, now the actual upgrades. So, item-wise. Okay, losing crit's annoying, but we have people who aren't crit-based, so that'd be very good for them. Neither of the other two are particularly important. That's at least a sword upgrade for the other tank. Hammer might actually be interesting here. As a secondary weapon. Rather than the sword, having a hammer for AoE and stun probably make the other tank more useful. This. None of these are particularly relevant. That's at least got movement points in it, so that's worth something. I mean, I don't like I don't like longbows, so that's going to be better. As much as longbows might be good for the range, they don't do any real damage. Uh, any of the I mean, these two, it's between these two. Damage and propagation bounces is going to be good for the mage. This is going to be good for the rifle. We'll go with this one. It's just so many items tonight because we've waited so long to actually do it. Uh, I'm going to roll for a... Maybe to see if we can get a tier 4 book. Tier 3 book's still an upgrade. Can go double book. It's a bit weird, but you can do it. So it's definitely worth it. Ooh, that's good. Just in case we need it. I don't think these two are going to be... Re Ooh, that's got an AP on it, though. Like, meteoring's obviously good. I don't think on the first map they're going to be bunched up enough for this to become relevant. But it would help us burn for all that mana we put on the mage. So with this, actually. With the AP boost. Maybe put it on the... Uh, rifler. Ah, screw it. Meteoring's more fun. Thinking for way too long on that. None of these are relevant. Which one sells for the most? That one. None that these are relevant, so I guess that one sells to the most. This is where having the extra option of uh, items might actually be worth it. It's probably the helmet. It does the same as this, but it's actually, you know, got damage options on it and res. Holy Ring does nothing. This does nothing. This has accuracy on it and reliability. That's kind of okay. So... Where did our mage go? Either has that or that. This is only relevant on him, so we'll give that to him. This can go on you. Because you don't burn your mana, and you might need to use it just to get through stuff. Um, that'll help you move a lot. Actually, no, your block tanks. That'll help you. Put that the other one on the other tank. Maybe give this here in case we need more dash it. No, put that on the other tank. Other tank gets full upgrades. And that and that. And that, sure, why not? Other tank just got a lot better. And then this here, like, double of this is actually going to be better than these because they're low level. That can go there for movement points. Do we have anything else with spaces? And I guess that goes there. It won't change things, but having more mana is going to be worth something at least. You have the ability to just get, like, this isn't going to do a lot, but it's going to give him an arranged option. Sorry, her arranged option. Could have done with... I mean, she, she got flat damage increases. I guess it's fine. And then you can get that. Good enough. Maybe this will be worth more than that. Yeah. Okay. So all the item upgrades we're going to get. rest of the money can go... Definitely want a mana shrine to make up for the little bit of mana we're missing here. It's not going to make a huge difference, but it might make a small one at the end. Just that. 
Alright, and we're done. Uh, two more workers available. Could, pu could pump out a hero. Not particularly worth it right now. So I guess we're just going shopping. Could roll... Roll some more trinkets. That's definitely worth something. So we've got plenty of spaces for these. That's going to be worth something on someone. All the others were kind of meh. Same thing again. So we, we can give a whole ton of crit power to somebody with a trinket space. We definitely had people with trinket space. You, because this wasn't doing much. Although they both had crit power on them, which isn't ideal. For you, anyway. Let's see if we can give it to someone else with crit power. Because you were crit based and yours doesn't do anything. So, that goes there. You were crit based, but you had that. So I guess it's it's okay for the accuracy and redu uh, reduction. So something like that. Sell all this stuff. And then I guess we just start rolling. That's going to be good for the block tank. That's going to be amazing. Like, like, normally when we do this, we have far too much money and not enough to do, because we're only doing it once and we haven't had time to build up a lot of money. We're actually going to get some good stuff out of this. Um, I'll come back and check what we need. But that rifle is a massive upgrade, even if it's just something like that. I'll give, I'll give him the longbow in case he needs to do a super long shot, but the rifle is going to do a lot. And this on you, just so you can get silly amounts of block. That rifle's going to do more than that. And then what else do we have? Crossbow 4, Steel 4. Just looking for potential upgrades we could grab from the thing. I think weapon-wise we're alright, it's just armor. Like even stuff like this, just on anybody's good because of movement. Although grabbing pots isn't a bad idea. Like giving people the ability to move around. Stuffing like that, where you just get free items that let people just zoom. You will have plenty of mana, so you're okay doing that. And then the tanks, I guess, each could have speed potions to get to the harpies. Could also do it with the mages. Doesn't really matter which. I think this makes the most sense. Now the problem is, I don't know if we have room to slam 30 ballista down. Because we have far too much clutter going on in our actual town. Uh, that, that. Nothing else to spend gold on. So. As many ballista as possible. This is obviously going to be wasteful, but it's just going to be funny. Anything at the front really is going to die. Essentially allows me to kind of abandon the front and run the sides as the main areas. Because anything that gets here is just going to die. So... There we go. <laughs> Anything coming from the front, insta-dead. So Major's on the side, Tank's on the side, Rifler in the middle, ready to run left and right. Entire job is going to be to hunt down harpies. Not particularly complicated. Let's just get on with it. I wonder if they do anything. I don't think they're going to do anything differently. But I'd be a, I, 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 it would be a funny turn of events if they did something a little different. It's a little annoying, but we should have enough movement. She only needs to get to that one harpy on top. <laughs> Anything that spawns here is dead. I mean, Rifler can just sit at the front and pick harpies off. Like, because this is where most stuff is going to come through. But just, just, just open up.
might be a little over geared for this. Not sure what gives me that impression. Okay, that didn't do half as much damage. It's not on a mage, so it does actually less damage than you think it would, but still funny. And then just end up in the middle just to do block things. You get out there. We want people on the flanks. Uh, which one's the better book? Top one. Okay. We want people on the flanks just to cover harpies that spawn there. The rifle will kill any harpy that spawns in the middle. They're just dead. It's not even a question. Okay. You, your only job is to try to get into range to kill that. Which you do. And very, very good. <laughs> not much to say there. Uh, you run it that way. And then we get to see the hammer in action, because we, we haven't really used them recently. Uh, can we do that a bit better? If we get there, dash, and then dash to the front. So, hammer has ground slam, propagation. Not particularly amazing, but, I mean, it'll go for a horde. Big stun effect, and just slide. it's basically the sword attack pretty much the exact same thing. It just has opportunism in it. So let's uh, let's swing. With skill range, this actually gets rather absurd. Definitely need to remove one of them. Because then we can do this. And then, I don't know, just stab someone. Doesn't really matter who. Like, hammers are fun, they just... There's a lot of AoE showiness and not a lot of AoE actual damage. That's my problem with them. Like, you saw there, it, that's a four hammer on the first level. That should be killing everything. At least a sword would definitely do it. So there should be a couple more harpies spawning. Or is that tomorrow night? I think, I think that might be next turn. Yes, yeah, next, next turn, that's fine. Gives us a turn to get the sides under control. Hate that it zooms in all the time. I mean, obviously, like, it gets the action, but you don't need it in this game. There's not enough graphic detail for zooming in. I'm going to pull this guy back so he can cover more ground running and then let this guy just do his job. Slashy, 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 shashy. Do, 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 end up. End up there, do that. I do find it kind of absurd that the hammer skills are scaling where you can hit stuff that's just a mile away from you and not point blank. Pull him back in case he needs to go harpy hunting. It's the only thing we really need to worry about at this point. You are just doing so much more damage with the sword than everything else, so just keep going. Like, pretty much all my mana reserve is going to be saved for harpy hunting. Nothing else really matters. I want this I want a boss to spawn here. Like right here. So probably not gonna happen, but I want a boss to spawn here and just get deleted. But hey. Can't really come up. I wonder if that unlock we saw earlier is all in one run. It can say all in one run. But it wouldn't surprise me in this game if they expect you to do all in one run. Because I just I just want my ballistas hitting multiple targets because it'll be funny. Okay, Harpy 2 shows up. More of the little ones. That thing needs killing. Right, they don't need killing urgently, but the quicker you kill them, the quicker she comes down. So, they kind of do.
Well, I didn't quite kill everything. What a shame. I might actually have to kill something myself. Are we winning? Well, we're not losing, so technically, yes. It's just, it, it's a little early to be celebrating, is all. And sure, why not start the lightning? I mean, pick off that guy and then try lightning down the line. Good enough, I think. Not particularly going to struggle on this one, but we kind of expected that. It was always going to be a map where it was a bit of a letdown at the start because we are overgeared massively for it. Can't really blame the devs for that one. I think I think you are supposed to do this one, maybe after Lakeburg. Definitely easier than Elder Lich. Probably about the same difficulty as Glenwald. So, yeah, somewhere in that range. Can't have you living. You nearly shot me. Uh, any other archers to deal with you? Okay, didn't kill it, but did enough. Fall back to the line. You. Uh, let's, actually, let's have you kill this first, or see how long you take to kill. This will give us an idea of how much we need to pack into each one. Apparently quite a lot. Okay. Well, at least these things have health. Good to know. Definitely going to need to bring the hammer guy down. We don't have an quite enough damage. So yeah, we're going to actually have to have hunting packs for these when they come down, but at least the first one came down in a nice enough spot where two of us could get to it with relative ease. Oh, it's kind of weird having a hammer that is ranged. Because <laughs> like, you just got so much skill range. I mean, what's that? 72 skill range and you're hitting all the way out here? Just a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, and then... Actually, does that combo mean hammers are better at moving the sword? Like, you don't get the momentum build up. But... Movement wise, hammers are quite good. Okay. Last one appears, the other one spits at us. Okay, everything's pretty much in the same spot. She yells and buffs. That bird in the middle is going to just die. She spits. No one really cares. Just a volley. Always a little bit fun. Right. Now we need to... I mean, we can just burn mana at this point. That's going to be over soon enough if we don't. Dash, dash. Run right through here. Run through you. Can I have this guy hold up the center for a bit? Like, he's got enough movement to get where he needs to, but... Uh, can we do, like, a hammer blow here? Good enough. And then this guy just needs to pick up all of this. Definitely can get away with spending some mana. They're hardly tight up for it. Okay, and then on this front, same deal as, as it always is. Just murder, murder, murder. Good enough. And, yeah, kill, kill this thing and then pretty much they'll start coming down and we'll be good. Nearly done. We're like three damage short on that for me, obviously. Clear it out. 
Good enough, though. And then you actually have a bit of a harder job this turn. Pick off that. Good. And by good, I mean it died in one shot. That was the priority there. Other than that, it's not particularly important. It's just stun them, slow them down. The, the, the ballista will make up for only having one person here quite easily. Okay. That one goes up. The other one will probably do a spit, and then... Yeah, spit there. That's easily manageable. Losing movement speed's a bit of a pain, but... The Ballista Volley just deletes them. This this is the tactic. Two heroes on each fight, and then the one you've got one on just Ballista Volleys. Definitely could... I, I'd be interested to see how many Ballista you could get on this map. Because you have the flexibility to do a bit more of a greedy build. And if you focused it all on just Ballista, what would happen? Um, what do I actually does more damage? That does way more damage, okay. The only advantage that has is it's undodgeable. Um, I mean, I don't want this guy getting to the wall. Because he's pretty tough. Obviously there's a lot of tough stuff, but everything else is kind of meh in terms of strength. Gonna keep people, gonna keep the tanks in the sort of mid area and just try and catch wherever they come down. So I'm actually gonna deliberately reduce the amount of damage I'm doing this turn to focus on getting good positions. Just end the second that last one comes down. Good enough. Can we get that last guy? Not with where we step. What if we just did that. Oh, he's one square out. Okay, that's fine. And then, of course, he didn't die. Boo, hiss. Um, good enough. This front, pretty much the same deal. I mean, I could just target him through the rock. That is a thing. It's a very weird thing that you can do that, but... Yeah, if it says do AoE, it does AoE. Can't really complain at them for that. Do need to pull people back just to be in position to catch wherever these harpies spawn, but... Cleaning up this flank is definitely still a thing. And then... We can kind of go for a little trip with this guy. Because that's not a momentum skill, so you can actually use this, if you moved, to uh, generate momentum for the follow-up. Might be a new trick I might try to use on later maps. Definitely an interesting idea. Okay, and then just run over here, I guess. Um, you have a free one of these? Because we can't use both next turn. We'll, we'll be using both ones next turn anyway. But getting the tanks in a decent position to run is much better. Okay. One comes down. Right on top of us. That's very rude. <laughs> That's actually, I think, the only real damage we're going to take. Is RNG where they land damage. Okay. Question is, is the other guy out of debuff? Please. He was debuff. Um, I think it was the tank that was debuffed last time on that front, and that's going to mean he does less damage. No, okay, he's he's out of debuff, and you're not. Um, this is only movement speed reduction. It's not damage reduction. So we should be able to clear this one up relatively easy. I don't think we have a health pot on this front, so we won't be able to heal her up, which is a little annoying, but. Okay. Good enough. I'm actually going to leave this guy where he is, because the other one's coming down next turn. So as long as we can kill the Harpies, that's all that really matters. Short. Fire away. Doesn't really matter at this point. We've got plenty of mana to burn. Just delete stuff. 
tanks, as I said, are staying exactly where they are because they're in the best spot to go chase stuff down. Your job is harpies, which is actually going to be hard for you to do, but we can solve that by teleporting. Uh, I mean, sure, just remove any chance that it's going to dodge this. And then we can do that to there. Remove that one. And then I guess a tight volley in the middle. Doesn't really matter at this point, but because then we can use the last warp to get in and out. Lovely and simple. Walls are going to take a bit of a hit. Not a big deal. Tanks are staying where they are. So, yeah, let's just see where she comes down. I mean, it's going to be next turn, obviously, but... Got to get there. They are definitely starting to chunk this front wall. Easy way of solving that. Uh, hop over there. Get there. Can use this on him. And then just lightning. Do we have another lightning strike? Uh, not that we could get in range of. I guess just pick off that guy. Take step up a little bit. And then do as much damage as we can. This is mostly superficial. It's not really going to matter, but... Killing stuff is killing stuff. There's no point ignoring it if you've just got nothing else to do that turn. You've still got nothing to spend the mana on. And I guess try weaken that archer. Good enough. Pull him back just so there's less chance of a another bird dropping on his head. Don't think it's particularly worrying, but might end up like that. All the AoEs. Uh, actually. Might as well use it. <laughs> While we have it. And... Sure, why not? Not going to do a lot, but might just save from breaking a ballista or something. I'm not that bothered by it, but it is a little annoying taking extra damage I don't have to. Should be enough. Right. You are just waiting. There's nothing you can do without getting out of position. I mean, killing them was an option, but I don't think it's worth it. Comes down right in the middle there, okay. That's why I had the tanks hanging around, because I knew she was going to end up somewhere awkward. Might be able to pick all of them off. No real point, but it, it's funny. The map ends when the big one dies, it doesn't matter about the little ones. Right, um... Since you can cap out on movement, we have to do it this way. And then... Oosh. And then... Teleport. And... Like, get a low enough, essentially. So that the others can come in and finish it. Might as well drop the meter ring while we're at it. Move a bunch. Jump. Pop potions. You still can't go above your cap, by the way, with this. For those who want to try out the game, you will end up in a bit of a awkward spot if you try that one. Uh, step aside so we can do the dash thing, but let's try kill all the little harpies at the same time. Just for completionist's sake. And 
And then I guess just do as much damage as possible. Because she's dead. Uh, I don't think there's a lightning chain, so I guess fireballs actually is probably better because it just armor pierces through. Okay. So you have two little ones to kill. And then... I want to make sure we kill her this turn, so I don't want to greed and mess it up. How much damage is that likely to do? Not enough. So, do that. Then do... that. Okay, so she will die to a single shot. Which is that one. Why can't I target her? So I'm just noticing there's a big area here I can't see. Oh, because that block is in the way. Yeah, that changes things. So he has to die. Now I get a clear shot. Which will be this one. So we have one action point to do something with. I guess it's just kill a little one. I don't think we can drop this guy. So I think it's just that guy. And then that. Undodgeable, so nothing to worry about. Oh, there was one harpy at the back I didn't see. That's annoying. It doesn't matter. It's just completion. Okay, so no major changes in dialogue yet. I am curious if we get any unlocks now. But we'll let this option play out. I don't think it's skippable anyway. Blah, blah, blah. It's interesting it shows all the other ones. It doesn't look any different. I think it's just ignoring the fact that we've done all the other havens. Yep, and I don't think there's any different. Interesting they show that scene again, but I guess that's just map completion always showing it. But you would have expected it wouldn't show with the other ones. Maybe if you showed it only with the ones you complete on the same difficulty? <laughs> Been a while since we've seen that line. Yeah. All the other maps were like, properly insane. That should be enough essence to get um, the next unlock. I'm curious what APOC 3 is as well. Uh, Mist sensors spawn around the haven every day, spreading thin mist to hide monsters. Okay, so there's just areas you can't target into. Ooh. And I suspect that they won't spawn in areas we're already covered by mist. So that actually makes the seer much more valuable. As it does, it makes the same... The, there's an omen that reduces... Sorry, pushes, makes the, it, the closest the mist can be further back, essentially. That'll be very interesting for that. Yeah, nothing really to see there. Go back to the main map. We'll have a quick check. I don't think we'll have got anything new, but we might have got an unlock for finishing a map on Apocalypse 2. That'll be the only thing I'll really look out for. Anything over here? Oh, she's actually got something to say to us. That's new. Ah, she's got her stuff now. Okay. Are you an Aeon? Uh...
Okay, so we didn't get a new unlock. Do any show up that we could potentially look for? Also got to check the ballista one. See, this didn't move, but we definitely built ballista. So we might have to get 30 ballista down in one haven, which is going to be a pain, except maybe on the last ones, and that'll still be a heavy investment. So yeah, stuff to consider on the other side. Start going down this line. <laughs> like, this, is, this is supposed to be the end game. I'm skipping all of these because most of them I just won't use. We might come back and start messing with them, but for the moment, I want full upgrades for the hard difficulties. Essentially, it's co it's 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 almost like cosmetics. You do the cosmetics afterwards. So we've done Apocalypse Two. There's Apocalypse Three, and then there's Apocalypse Four, which I dread to think what that'll be. So next one we do definitely Bill Lakeberg. Probably gonna do it on Apoc One, and then. See how that goes. We may come back here, do APOC 3, or over here and do APOC 1 there. We'll see what we'll see we'll see how it's going essentially. So uh until then, I will see you guys next time.